So the purpose of this lab is to um, show the functionality of the context-aware uh, ASA module in the 5585X. And this functionality is going to be brought down into our lower-end ASA platforms um, in the uh, fourth quarter of uh, calendar year 2012. So let's get started. So what you see here is the configuration of the ASA. Um, for the purposes of the lab, I didn't. I have both of them at the same security level, the inside and outside. Uh, addresses are at the same security level, so we don't have to mess around with uh, with access control lists and letting traffic in and out. So I, I made them both the same, and then there's a command in here where you you tell it that um, you want the uh, inter and intra interface to be able to talk to the same um, the same level. So that that just allows us to to do some very simple in and out uh, traffic. So uh, there's no access control lists in here. The one thing we do have. Um, that is important is with the uh, the uh, CX module, um, as well as you know the connectivity even you know on the on the on the 55, 25, and 45 platforms is going to be the fact that you have to tell it what to send to the context-aware functionality. So in this case, I'm telling it um, that the the default class, so all of the of the traffic coming in and out of this box, um, should be sent to the um, the CX uh, capability, which is right here. So that's basically what's going on there, is I'm, I'm telling it to send all the traffic. And if you go into the Prime Security Manager, which manages all of that, you could actually see down here that we actually have you know real-time events happening. So basically, in this module, um, all of my lab is talking to the rest of the outside world is going through this this module. So you can see here flow uh, flow teardowns and, and flow establishments. So if I were to um, go into the lab here and go to ESPN.com, for example, um, it'll go ahead and browse and everything's fine. I can get there. And if I go back to here, you can see that I've set up connections to ESPN.com. Um, it's the HTTP protocol. And also, if you go into um, things like, for example, if you go into, um, let's go into the dashboard under web categories, the system is smart enough to categorize all of the traffic going in and out. So you can see sports and recreation has a lot of transactions. Um, so uh, an easy thing to do as a, a simple test is to go in here and go to like salesforce.com, for example. If you go in here, you can see that um, if you go into Salesforce, uh, the, the the traffic will come up, and then what you can do is go back into the CX module um, and see and uh, do a refresh uh, over here. If I go back and I do web categories again and pull it up, it'll actually pull up. Um, you'll see, you know, uh, right here, SaaS and B2B now has more traffic. Uh, the same thing goes with web destinations. So you can pull up here; it'll it'll pull up um, the the destinations, uh, as you can see here. Uh, the other one is you can change the time. So if you go to um, let's go to uh, web categories again, and I go in here, and I can say show me show me the last 24 hours, and then I can change the number of items shown as well. So I can say show me 100 items or show it to me as a percentage. You can see that as well. Um, another key thing is you can go into applications and this will show you the kind of the breakdown of you know all the different applications that are happening um, in the in the day you know as the traffic flows through the box. Um, one really kind of quick thing to show is policies. So um, the application awareness extends down within the HTTP protocol. So if I were to go in here and say, okay, well, I, I want to manage things like um, Netflix and Hulu and things like that. So I can come in here, it just takes a sec to refresh. Um, you can go in here and say, well, I want to uh, disallow Hulu, for example. Um, and that's the that's one of the, the rules that I have here. Just wait for it to cut. Here you go. So as you see here, I've got uh, Hulu as a as a policy that I want to deny. If I go to Edit Policy here, you can see um, you can enable the policy. You could tell it to deny. You can turn on whether you want it to be an event. You can capture the packets. You could specify sources and destinations. So you could say, well, I want certain you know subnets to be able you know certain sets of users to be able to get there. Um, and under Application, um, you can go ahead and and um, and set up uh, any application you want. So we'll we'll go ahead and do a, a, another policy here in a minute. But I want to show you how 
um, the, the policy actions work. So if I go in here, I can go back to my lab and try to get to Hulu, and you'll see if I go to Hulu.com that the traffic is denied, and it says that it, you know, you're not allowed to use that application specifically within the HTTP protocol. But if I were to go in here and say allow and do a save, and then save that policy, click on that, okay, and then go ahead and, and apply the and commit the change, okay. So, so basically now, um, if I go back in here and I go to Hulu.com, should be able to get there. Hold on, make sure the change was committed. Hold on a sec, policies. Let's make sure. Yeah. So now I'm allowing Hulu. I think it just took a sec to take effect. Um, let's go to a new tab here and go to Hulu.com. See now I can I can get to Hulu now because I changed the policy. So if I were to go back um, and edit that policy and disallow it again and say save and then commit the change. All right, so yeah, we gotta gotta commit that pending change. Okay, so now we should be able to go back into our policies. And now it's committed. Go back in here and go back to Hulu.com. And now it's denied again. So that's uh, a simple way to see that. And then also, uh, last thing I'll show here is under policies, or actually I should say, we go under applications. So under policies, applications, you actually can see all the different policies here. So if I were to go on, say, Facebook, you could actually see that there's there's Facebook utility, sports, games, entertainment. So you can literally um, see the usage details on these, but you could also, uh, you know, deny them uh, or allow them. So you can go in here and, um, you know, change your view. Um, you could also go in here and say, show me Netflix, for example, and filter it on that, and there you go. So you can deny Netflix. Uh, if you go on YouTube, you can change that as well, so you can filter on, on YouTube as well. So the, the behaviors you could see, if you want to keep people from posting, you can you can deny certain behaviors within an application. Um, so if I were to take the filter off um, completely, um, now you can see basically all of the applications that we support. Um, and you could always add your own and add custom as well. Um, if I were to go in here, another another good one is um, you know some people want to deny things like SQL or see what's available in terms of the things you're able to do within SQL. So if you can go to see Microsoft SQL Server, etc., it knows it by by application. So you can deny those things um, if you want to. So that's a, just a quick and easy demo um, of the ASA context-sensitive uh, capabilities.